Hey guys, this is Ronan the Nighttime Entrepreneur and today we're going to cover how buyers on Amazon are opting out of seller messages and how to get around this. So when someone buys something on Amazon, they now have the option to opt out of emails from the seller. So this means a lot of your sales backer or Zon pages autoresponders are rendered useless, or even if you wanted to send a manual message through Amazon's internal messaging system. Okay guys, so if you've sold something on Amazon recently, you may have gotten a message like this to your email address. It's pretty much telling you that the buyer has opted out of receiving messages from Amazon sellers. So this can cause a bit of an issue for your autoresponders like sales backer or Zon pages, or even if you're one of those people who sends downloadable products after the purchase is made, like instruction manuals or something like that. So this means that you can send things like PDFs or even messages about the order to the buyers. Okay, so this is a big problem for us because we'd like to send autoresponding emails asking for reviews and things like that after the buyer has made the purchase. But all hope is not lost. Amazon say that even if a buyer has opted out of these unsolicited messages, if you need to send them a message critical to completing his or her order, you can include the word important in the subject of your message or use the buyer seller messaging interface inside Seller Central. Now Amazon are going to be pretty strict about sellers using this important in brackets feature in their subject line of their emails to customers. Amazon are only going to let you get around this opt out by the buyer if the message is considered critical. For your reference, the following messages are considered critical to complete your order. Product customization questions, delivery, scheduling or scheduling, issues with the shipping address. The following messages are not critical to complete the order. So according to Amazon, these are not critical and you shouldn't be using the important feature in the subject line of the email. Requests for seller feedback or customer reviews. Order, shipment or delivery confirmations. Proactive customer service, for example, product manuals, tips for using the product, FAQs or suggestions if something goes wrong. And finally, out of stock or delivery notifications and offers of alternate products. Please cancel the order instead. So guys, there are some rules and regulations around this new system. So yeah, guys, all hope is not lost. If you really, really need to contact a buyer after you've made a sale, then you can do so using this important in brackets on screen. Also, just to note, they are those square type of brackets, not the usual curved brackets. So guys, I hope I made that very clear for you. Thanks for watching the video. Please do like, comment, and most importantly, do subscribe to the channel for more brilliant content to do with Amazon selling and everything else online entrepreneur.